Time now for the Insider's Quick Six. Question one, what do you think will be the biggest difference between serving in the legislature and Congress? Lots of airplane rides to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Good point. Question two, this could be a tricky one. Should Iowa's caucuses remain or switch to a primary? Oh boy, I think I'm going to let the IDP fight that out. I have to tell you, I, I you know, I, that, it's a really tough issue because um, I would like to keep them here. Selfishly, I have to say, I would like to keep them here. I, I actually love the caucus and I think it's great for Iowa. So um, I selfishly, I want to keep them here, but I understand other people disagree. I'm going to let them fight that out. All right, question three. Uh, in light of everything that you've heard recently, do you think Donald Trump is a criminal? Oh gosh. That's a very, that is a very, you know, what I really have to say about that is I'm going to trust law enforcement. I'm really going to let law enforcement do its job. I think it's so important that we do that. Uh, I, I trust them and I'm going to let them, that process play out. All right, we really bounce around in these quick six. Question four, you're sort of the opposite of what we experience sometimes. You grew up in Florida, moved to Iowa. Obviously, we see snowbirds kind of do the opposite <laughs> here. What do you think, what is one thing based on your experience living here that you think the state needs to improve upon to get more people like you did years ago to move here? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, when I moved here, I was given such opportunity, a wonderful community, schools to raise my daughter. Iowa has so much going for it and people love being in Iowa. So there's a lot happening that's good here, but we need to work on our economic opportunity here and we need to make it a, wel a wel welcoming place because uh, the fact is that a lot of our counties are losing population. Population is going the other direction. Uh, we have a workforce crisis. Some of our schools and healthcare uh, you know, are, are, are leaving um, our small towns. So we need to work on that and actually that's a major priority for me is really rebuilding our small towns creating that opportunity you know increasing wages uh, bringing great jobs to uh, to our smaller towns um, middle class tax cut I would love to see us do that and really working on our uh, rebuilding our schools and our health care in some of our smaller communities okay question five well you moved here to, to teach at University of Iowa so if you win here does that mean you can't teach anymore Oh, that's a great question. So um, I'm on leave from the university, uh, and if I uh, am lucky enough to be elected to Congress, uh, then I would probably be on leave from the university for a while. We, I might teach the occasional class. I do love to teach and I would really miss it. I would miss my students. So um, I, I might uh, find a way to, to do that um, here and there, but, uh, but my okay. priority would be in Congress. All right, we always end with a prediction. What do you have? Okay, I'm gonna say, I think that the Iowa Hawkeyes uh, have been a little disrespected by not being in the top 25 this year. And I predict, you asked for a prediction, I predict that they are gonna surprise everybody because the Hawkeyes like to surprise. So I think they're gonna surprise everybody and I think they're gonna have a great season.